Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Clog College Weeks Live, Florida Southwestern General Information here. How's everyone doing today? Well, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> My name is Ivan Guerrero. I'm an admissions counselor here at Florida Southwestern State College, and with me we have Ashley Dome. I'm also an admissions counselor at beautiful Florida Southwestern State College. And today we're here to just give you a um, brief synopsis as to what we have to offer for our college, as well as some general information. So. To kick things off, you know, where are we located? We are located here in four different, I should say five different respective counties. Lee County, which, are, which serves our main campus. We have a Collier County, uh, Naples, as well as the Punta Gorda campus, and another site out in uh, Henry Glades as a regional center there. And we also offer courses online. And so to give us a little bit more of a breakdown as to how much, you know, courses cost here, we're going to refer over to our tuition cost. Now, for in-state tuitions, uh, well, for in-state residents of Florida, we have a tuition rate of 111.36 and an out-of-state tuition rate of 434.63 for out-of-state students. And that's, again, for lower division coursework. Now, for upper division, it's 123.71. And for our out-of-state uh, upper division coursework, it's 795.34. Right. And to show you what we have to offer in terms of degrees, we mm -hmm. offer an Associates of Arts, which, which, which is really great. For the mere fact that we have an awesome transferability into any state university within Florida. Mm -hmm. So that's an awesome program. It's typically done within about two years. And what's really awesome is if you choose, if you if we happen to offer a bachelor's degree that at Florida Southwestern, you can continue, uh, you know, at, at our institution and then progress uh, forward mm -hmm. to another graduate school. We also offer a number of associate degrees uh, for, for science, as well as a number of bachelor's degrees. For more information, feel free to refer to our website www.fsw.edu and check underneath our academic programs or programs of study to look at what we have to offer. And now here's um, just to give you a little bit of information as to who we are. We offer over a number of different organizations and clubs mm -hmm. and we also have an average class size of 22 per classroom. So that gives you a lot more of that one on one interaction with the professors. It makes you know the, the conversation piece is a lot more personable. We also have high caliber professors and uh, fa faculty members here that work within our college. And we also have a number of opportunities for students to engage into uh, some study abroad programs, which Ashley will touch into here just a little bit later, as well as a number of intramural sports and honors programs. And to, just to go a little bit further now, we're gonna go right into why are we proud of our college? So go Bucks. Go Bucks. <laughs> we're student oriented. Which means a lot of the a lot of our programs, a lot of the the interest that we generate here for the college is student centered. Meaning, a lot of things that we operate, a lot of the procedures are kept within the mind of you know how is this going to make it better for the students, with the high quality academic programs to small cl smaller classroom sizes mm -hmm. to the diverse population, and even the like again those high caliber faculty members. <laughs> but what's really awesome is the, that we have a number of student life activities that we offer around campus, and that's one big thing like I like to pride myself on. And, Hopefully you guys don't mind. I'm going to just share just a little bit of my experience here at the college. Uh, for me, I'm, um, I, I, I came into college a little bit late, around 23. Uh, but for me, I was never involved in any extracurricular program. So for me, coming into college, I didn't think that was going to really uh, rub off on me the, the right way. But I happened to jump into one of the one student one day uh, student government meeting, and it just took off mm -hmm. for me the sense of recognition, the sense of belonging. And before I knew it, I was able to start my own club. Uh, on our campus, which I'll speak to in just a moment, and I got a chance to travel on the behalf of the college and meet powerful individuals like state legislators, House of Representatives, and Senators. It was a wonderful experience, and mm -hmm. I had a chance to serve as student government president here for two years. President. Pre president. President. <laughs> and uh, the, the opportunities that presented so far are, are enormous, and I know if I succeeded here, the opportunities just for yourself and for, for friends as well, it, the opportunities lie here. And so that's one real, real big thing that we taught about is the extracurriculars um, as well. Over 30 different student organizations on our club, not just only student government. There's also intramural sports as well, such as martial arts club, scuba diving club, as mm -hmm. well as a number of other ones that, you know, like to engage you mentally. We have a creative writing club, a philosophy club. There's a number of other ones as well. And like I said earlier, you have the ability to start your own club here at our campus, which is awesome. I know I started an oral communications club, talking, listening, and and I'm happy to say I'm going to be serving as advisor, hopefully here in the near future. So, you know, come on down to the college, definitely check mm -hmm. it out. Uh, feel free to refer to our website. You know, we have a, a list of all of our clubs uh, active on there. And so moving on, we do have a number of uh, academic support services, which is really great because, you know, one good thing is, hey, learning, 
And another great, great aspect we have is, is to have fun here at our college. But we pride ourselves with the opportunities for students to enhance themselves with our writing centers, the math centers, our oral mm -hmm. communications lab for our speech and you know, public speaking courses, as well as offering peer to peer tutoring. And that's one thing that we offer at no extra cost for students. It's all free. And for professor office hours as well, that, that's a big, another big thing. Um, usually with these smaller classrooms, we have the ability for professors to meet with students, you know, one on one, should they need any of that extra uh, that personal time afterwards. And so that's another great thing as well. We also have leadership opportunities that range not only in extracurricular endeavors, but also into um, how should I put it? Community service events, and that's a really that's a really great thing we pride ourselves on is giving back to the community. We're not just a state college, you know. We don't just keep to ourselves. We like to help out the community as well, and so that's a real big thing here. And so, moving forward here, I'm just gonna jump on over the list of extracurricular activities. I know I spoke about it earlier. We again those 30 different student clubs. We have intramural sports that we house within campus that range anywhere from flag football, soccer, basketball, and dodgeball, and a, few, a few other ones as well. We even have fitness programs, Zumba, um, yoga, uh, our running pro program club, as well as boot camp training. And there's a number of social events always giving free food. Um, I, I, I know when I was when I was attending here, <laughs> I put on a, a few pounds and, and trust me, that boot camp training worked me right off. So um, just a little bit more, we, again, that leadership development, there are a number of activities that um, I should say uh, developmental programs that we offer from my only time management but also um, another, another of, uh, a series of other, uh, series of other uh, programs that we offer, again, uh, throughout, the, throughout the academic year. And we're just going to touch a little bit about housing. We had a chance here to, to visit earlier um, the, our, our wonderful housing uh, with a group of students. And this is, yeah. this is one of our hidden gems here at the college here. We have a rec room uh, within our facility as well as a fitness center. And now that rec room has a billiard table, has a 3D TV, you know, it's a really great, uh, you know, social uh, social area for, for students to network. And that fitness center, there's a number of elliptical machines, dumbbell mm -hmm. weights, and a number of other machines there that students can use, you know, 24-7. So if you're residing there at the at the housing, yeah. it's always available to you. It's not like there's a certain curfew or anything of that nature. And also, again, those study rooms, there's there's at least four, uh, four study rooms located on each of the four floors there. So there should be always an opportunity uh, for students to, to, you know, break away and uh, get some serious uh, studying done. Yeah. And there's also meeting rooms for clubs to, to meet up at as well. And we also have volleyball and basketball courts there for, for students that are interested, you know, in, in uh, playing a little bit um, aside from in the in the internal sports. Mm -hmm. We have outdoor gathering spaces and cable television. And of course, there's Wi-Fi going throughout that building. So not only do you have it in your common area, but you also have it in your, in, in your individual rooms. We offer these in two and four bedroom mm -hmm. units. And the prices right now, uh, two bedroom is 3,000, a four bedroom is 3,300. And so if you're if you're interested, definitely uh, check out our website. The applications go live on March 1st. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. And I had actually lived on campus when he was one of our FSW students. What was your favorite Ooh. aspect or favorite thing about living on campus? Uh, definitely, um, I know it's gonna sound corny, forgive me. That washer and dryer goes a long way. Now I've heard a lot of like horror stories of, <laughs> from parents and I don't, not to mention um, other students about coming in from other um, universities and colleges saying, oh, we had a, a common area where we had a way to do laundry or we had to go down to a local laundromat. And here at the college, uh, these dorms come loaded with their own washer and dryer. And you can use those at whatever mm -hmm. time that you want. Um, so that's awesome. You know, you can wash your clothes as soon as you get home from class, right before the dryer's right there. Obviously, it doesn't come included uh, the dryer lints or any of that, so you have to get that on your own. But you know, learn <laughs> a lot of it, it's it's definitely great. The fact that you don't have to venture off campus to be able to do that. So that's a, that's one of my favorite hidden gems. And I thought you were going to say the the HBO channels. Yes, there is. <laughs> there are a lot of uh, there's cable programming. I believe one to about a hundred, as well as those HBO channels. So it was really great time being able to catch Game of Thrones and and a number <laughs> of those other series that that were that were uh, passing through by the. Mm -hmm by the college semester. So now to move on just a little bit more, we have athletics coming up. And you know, what better way to, to talk about athletics? And I'll, I'll, get, I'll let Ashley jump in here because I feel like I'm talking just a little bit too much. I'm gonna you know, no. pass off the range just a little bit okay. here about athletics. Okay, go Bucks. Um, we of course have our wonderful mascot behind us, our Buccaneer. 
and we are bringing back our softball and our baseball teams in this upcoming fall semester, so fall 2015. Mm -hmm. And then the following fall semester, we are bringing back our basketball team. I'm looking basketball. forward to that. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know, right? Men's and women's Get basketball. Um, so, and currently our softball and our baseball teams are, they're playing and they're practicing right now in the city of Palms. Um, the former Red Sox. Boston yeah, Red Sox if we team. have any Red Sox fans out there right now, um, that's where they used to do their spring training. So it's really great that we can take something that, you know, was obviously used for something else and use it for our purposes and, and draw some more attention and go there to your for our teams. It's a lot of fun. Um, and it also provides some great extracurricular act activities, actually being able to go to our own sports events. It's going to be picking up uh, really strong. And we're going to be part of the NGCCAA, which is the National Junior Community College Athletic Association. Mm -hmm. And so we'll be traveling not, you know, throughout all Florida and playing other Florida teams. So that's going to be awesome. Um, I, I can't wait to get out there and actually yeah, be able definitely. to root for our team. And so, you know, just a... We actually have a wonderful guest here, um, Antonio Rufus here. Rufus yes, Antonio, one of our yes. wonderful students. Um, he's going to stop by and tell you a little bit, share a little bit about his experiences here with the college. Mm -hmm. So if you want, uh, yeah. well, either seat, which one? Sure. Actually, you can. <laughs> Come on so over. very, very much, guys. <laughs> Just share. I know you're. I know you're in the middle of classes, running back and forth here. Yeah. Just wanted to ask you know some about your experience here. Is there like something that you know that Florida Southwestern offered or mm -hmm. really engaged you? All right, all right. Come on. Okay. I actually, I actually love the school here. Um, there's a lot of awesome resources available for the students. We have the peer to peer tutoring center, which will make sure that you can get the highest grade possible in every single assignment, and that is great. Without those guys, I wouldn't be an honor student myself. Uh, we have a lot of awesome events here on the campus. Like today, we had our Welcome Week Bash. We had a DJ out here. We had free food all over the place. Awesome. A lot of giveaways available for students, too. And it's definitely a great time here. We want to make sure that you guys have everything that you need to become the best you that you could possibly be. But at the same time, enjoy the, the environment that we provide for you. Because at the end of the day, there's people from all over the world, all walks of life. And that's one of my favorite things about the school simply because of the fact that I never know who I'll be next to at any given time. I never know how I can help someone out or how they can help me out. And that's, that's definitely awesome. a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. Man, Antonio, I, I do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, now, a little bit about it. Um, I know you earlier, you had made mention to me in a separate conversation about uh, how wonderful our academic support services was. And I touched on it a little bit, but, you know, it's one thing for me to talk about it, but another for another current student that's er that's in the mix, you know, mm -hmm. actually talking about it. So yeah. you want to talk just a, a few things that, you know, we can let future potential students know about? I definitely can. Uh, I know we have our peer-to-peer -peer tutoring center. Those are students that have already passed that exam. They've already gotten on that professor's good side. And they're here to show you how to do the same exact thing. Thing, completely free of charge. We also have our writing lab, which is our writing center, I mean, and our math center. And these are professionals that come in every single day to sit down and work with us one-on-one -on, -one on all assignments. And I'm telling you, if it wasn't for those two resources, Ivan, mm -hmm. I definitely wouldn't be an honor student right now. But I'm def I'm so happy with my grades, A's and B's, and it is wonderful. We also have our honors program. Our honors program. Just like I was telling if it wasn't for those two learning centers, I wouldn't be an honor student right now. But because I am an honor student, I have this awesome opportunity that a lot of the other students can't really participate in. We have these smaller class sizes. We have in-depth conversations. We have all kind of awesome, awesome field trips. And on top of that, you get a little bit of extra money just for being an honor student. And that's definitely a good that thing. That definitely helps out, huh? Yes, indeed. And it just helps me to broaden my horizons and become the type of person that I want to be in the future. That's great to hear, Antonio. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, thanks again for for stopping by here. I know we're gonna jump a little bit into financial aid, and mm -hmm. and who better to talk about it than our very own Ashley Dome. So what I'll mm -hmm. do is here, I'll move out so that way Ashley can just you know chime in here. So give me All a right. second. All mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Little switcheroo. Mm -hmm. Come right on in. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So today we are going to. 
get a bunch of information about financial aid. So, of course, mm -hmm. the, the first essential thing to know is to complete the FAFSA. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, FAFSA stands for the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, sure. which mm -hmm. is the government's application for, for financial aid. Mm -hmm. Now, Florida Southwestern's code, which we have listed on our cute little PowerPoint there, is mm -hmm. 001477. So when you complete that, you can actually list up to 10 schools. Mm -hmm. So if you're even remotely considering our school, go ahead and slap it on there because when you actually fill out the admission application, you'll be in a position to receive financial aid and for us to process your FAFSA. Yes. Now, when you process this FAFSA, it's going to give you a few different figures um, or amounts yeah. that you're eligible to obtain mm -hmm. once you actually get to the school and you you enroll in a college. Yes. So those two two big figures that you'll see are the, are the federal Pell Grant and loans. Mm -hmm. So the federal Pell Grant, what's so awesome about grants and scholarships, so those first two bubbles that you see on, on your little screen mm -hmm. um, to the side of me, those you do not actually have to pay repay or pay back after you graduate or after you stop taking mm -hmm. classes, which is really awesome. Indeed. Mm -hmm. And then loans, unfortunately, you do have to pay those back. However, they do allow you to enroll in classes and things along those lines. Mm -hmm. Now, Ivan covered earlier that our tuition was amazingly affordable. So if you're an in-state student, mm -hmm. you're only paying $111 and, and some odd cents per credit, mm -hmm. that's roughly 340, 350 for one class. That yes. That's insanely affordable. Yes, and that's so much cheaper mm -hmm. than any of the other schools in the area. And you still get a top-notch education. Oh, definitely. So it's definitely in your best interest to come here to FSW. Mm -hmm. And then for for those out-of-state students, mm -hmm. it's, it's a little bit more, but yeah. it's comparable to those in-state prices that you'll see in, in different states, which is still amazingly affordable. Yes. And we also do have tons of institutional aid yes. mm -hmm. um, for obviously for all different types of purposes. We have mm -hmm. tons of different criterias yes. that support mm -hmm. either if it's merit-based, which is like academic, looking at your GPA, mm -hmm. things along those lines. Um, mm -hmm. If you are currently a high school student, mm -hmm. we do look at your high school GPA. So just make sure to do as, as best you can, you can yes. um, mm -hmm. because we definitely will look at those. For most of the merit scholarships, mm -hmm. they're making sure that you have at least a 3.0 GPA. Um, mm -hmm. So if you're coming in or transferring in with college credits, just make sure you know you have a, a somewhat decent GPA. Make sure you're cracking those books open. Yes. Um, and then also we have need based, which when you fill out that FAFSA, it calculates your need, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, now we have some deadlines, which we also have listed in front of you. Our, our priority deadline for our scholarship application is March 1st. Mm -hmm. So just make sure if, if you're planning on attending in this upcoming fall semester, which starts in August, or, or even if you know, you're thinking about starting in the following spring, something along those lines, yeah. in the academic year 15, 16, <laughs> you need to make sure to fill out that scholarship application. And last year we gave out two, two, million dollars over two million dollars so that's a lot isn't that that's yes. insane so wow. you're really silly if you don't go ahead and actually fill out the scholarship application mm -hmm. um because we want you guys to succeed we want you to yeah. become the type of person that you want to be mm -hmm. and there's a lot of resources here Definitely. i never thought that i would have had a chance to come to school but fsw made it possible wow. for me mm -hmm. <laughs> um and then also we do have the FAFSA completion deadlines up there as well, mm -hmm. which is January 1st through April 15th. So we just want to make sure that as soon as you're filing taxes or your parents are filing taxes, if, if you're under the age of 24, mm -hmm. um, that you're actually going ahead and you're filling out that FAFSA. Yes. Now with our scholarship, um, application, you will have to fill out a admissions application mm -hmm. first. Now, typically, students will complete the scholarship app application with the admissions application because it's all it's all rolled into one these days. Mm -hmm. um, if for some reason you you don't have the time to actually sit down and fill out like a couple of those scholarship application questions, mm -hmm. you can access it at a later date. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. um, just make sure that you turn in your high school transcripts first. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. And even if you end up having to enroll as an out-of-state student, mm -hmm. what that will entail is basically during that first semester or that first entire year, my bad, you will have to pay that out-of-state rate. But all you have mm -hmm. to do is get you a bill in your name. Uh, that's easily done with your cell phone, with your cable mm -hmm. bill, any kind of utility or anything like mm -hmm. that. After one year, you will be eligible to switch over to that in-state tuition. I had to be an out-of-state tuition mm -hmm. at first because I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. But after I finally became an in-state student, whew, that was a wonderful, wonderful burden that was lifted away from me. And I was able to actually put a lot more money in my pocket at the mm -hmm. end of the semester. So that's definitely a good thing. And just keep in mind that that's for independent students. Mm -hmm. Mr. Roof is here. He's pretty independent. <laughs> <laughs> so that means he's over the age of 24. This is true. This yeah. is true. I am a non-traditional student. I came back after 10 years, and it's definitely been an easy experience for me. It's been a lot, a lot easier than I thought it would have been. That's just thanks to the... All of the awesome resources and the tutoring centers and the peer-to-peer the -peer, uh, interaction that I get here on campus. Mm -hmm. And also all of the wonderful people that we have upstairs in the administrative department that are more than willing to help me succeed. And I'm sure that once you guys come here, you will see that this is the place that you Definitely. need to be at. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you do have any questions or mm -hmm. concerns, um, please feel free to reach out to our admissions counselors. You can see that we're very nice people. Very. And mm -hmm. also, we do offer campus tours, mm -hmm. and we do have some special events such as like open houses and all yes. kinds of different things like that, mm -hmm. that we would be more than happy to have you on our campus and Absolutely. to actually show you some, mm -hmm. uh, some of the beautiful things that we have to offer mm -hmm. um, you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's not just our resources, it's our campus and everything else. This is true, this is true. And you'll definitely have a good time <laughs> while you're here on our campus. We have free movies from time to time. We get all kind of free food. We have giveaways. You can get free FSW swag, mm -hmm. t-shirts, book yeah. bags, school supplies, anything you could possibly need to succeed in your classes. We have one way or another for you to get it. So you'll definitely be in good hands coming here to food. Go to Southwestern. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. yes. And outside of that, traditional students. Hmm. Now, I see. As far as the traditional student goes, uh, they have excellent, excellent resources for them as well. Uh, you could come here straight out of high school and everything will basically fall mm -hmm. right in line for you. We have more than enough support services in place for you guys. Let's say if you, if, for example, you miss a test or something like that. Basically, we can have mm -hmm. it set up for you to take that test in a separate environment so you're not worrying about sitting in the back of the class and trying mm -hmm. to catch up while the rest of the class is moving on and things like that. Uh, we really do accommodate the student here and oh. it's definitely wonderful. And our new new student program um, mm -hmm. that we actually have. So we mm -hmm. we have an entire program dedicated mm -hmm. to our first time in college students. Mm -hmm. So it, if oh, this true. is your first mm -hmm. time um, in college, there yes. is a pretty big difference between high school and college. So mm -hmm. obviously, you you want to make sure that you're making the transition. Mm -hmm. um, and you're making that transition as easy as humanly possible. So with our fir first year experience, mm -hmm. they have tons of different social networking um, possibilities, such as like ice cream social. Mm -hmm. So you can actually have like the so social networking aspect, yes. but also they have technology Tuesdays where, yes. where they show you how to use the different software that you need yeah. to succeed in your different technology. classes. Yes, things but in like, a proper way. We mm -hmm. know that you know how to use Facebook. Right. And, yeah, right? And mm -hmm. then we know you know how to use like the computer for Instagram, things along those lines. Mm -hmm. But They can give you some tips and tricks yeah. that you may not have already mm -hmm. found on your own, like how to master Microsoft Office or using Photoshop, mm -hmm. things like this. They provide these training sessions to you completely free of charge. And at the same yeah. time, you get the chance it's to really awesome yeah and you get the chance to meet a lot of the cool people that we have here on campus in these sessions so it's definitely in your best interest to go ahead and you know participate whenever we have these things going on on campus definitely mm -hmm. yes. and then in addition to that they actually have um student learning 
the SLS class? Our oh, yeah, student the student le learning student. services. Yeah, student life skills. Oh, that's Student it. life mm -hmm. skills, okay. Mm -hmm. Our student life skills class, mm -hmm. and that, that class, um, students actually will take their first semester. Mm -hmm. And during that first semester, they, they will be taught skills from their peer architect, which is someone who who's already been there before. It's usually mm -hmm. their second year, maybe third year, fourth year in college. Mm -hmm. um, so they, they've they already acquired the skills and they've mm -hmm. proven that to actually be able to uh, move forward and either, you know, they know where the gym is on campus yes. um, in mm -hmm. our housing facility, mm -hmm. or they, they know exactly how to sign into the math lab. So they can actually teach you like, little tiny things um, and nuances about our particular college and make sure that you, you're you actually obtaining the skills mm -hmm. and the resources available yes. to be a successful student. Yeah. And a lot of times um, it kind of falls hand in hand with our first year experience mm -hmm. department because you can, you know, actually attend maybe some of those like networking services, mm -hmm. um, you know, instructional mm -hmm. lab meetings and things along those lines. Mm -hmm. And it counts for credit for the, this really awesome class that's teaching you how to be successful. Mm -hmm. And they show you where a lot of the different resources are located here on campus. Mm -hmm. They're actually being graded Definitely. on this. And the cool thing about it is that the entire time that they're showing you all of these awesome things, they're actually plying us with free food and opportunities <laughs> to win even more uh, school supplies and things like that. So long story short, that's an easy A. There's no way for you guys to fail that at all. You're serious about your life. You want to move on to the next step. They're going to help you polish up on those skills that will get you there. Things like your time management. Things like being able to research properly so that you can extract the correct information for your papers, essays, and things like that. This is provided for all of the mm -hmm. students, and that's definitely a great resource. Mm -hmm. uh, and as far as the Cornerstone experience, hmm, let's see. With that, I would just have to say that um, basically we make sure that you guys have everything that you need to succeed. If there's mm -hmm. any problems that you Definitely. may come across or any situation that you can see that may, you know, hinder your success here on our campus, we sit down and we will work with you. We have counselors here on the campus that'll help you out mentally yeah. to, you know, reach the goals and levels that you want to get to in life. We also have all kind of wonderful people that are willing to work on your computers with you, say, that, say, for example, you have some kind of software related issue with your computers. They will sit down and work on that computer with you for the entire course of that day to make sure that everything is working fine by the time you leave, completely free of charge. Yeah. That means that now you don't have to call up some random guy on Craigslist or sit there in line at Best <laughs> Buy waiting for them to get to you or anything like that. So that's definitely cool that they do that for us. Mm -hmm. We also have free parking all around the campus, so for you people that do drive, you don't mm -hmm. have to worry about paying for any parking permits, no parking passes or anything and like that. And freshmen are allowed mm -hmm. to park on campus and come and drive on campus. This is true, this is true. Mm -hmm. And our Garden Cafe has some excellent food as well. We have a Subway here on campus, we have a Pizza Hut Express, we get sushi delivered, and we have mm -hmm. some wonderful grill masters that make all kind of excellent meals for the students. You can't forget the Dunkin' Donuts. This is true. <laughs> We did just have a Dunkin' Donuts open up here on campus, and all of this wonderful mm -hmm. food that I'm telling you guys about is more than affordable. I mean, I think the most expensive thing would be like a foot-long steak and cheese sub from Subway, and that's like $7.50. We can mm -hmm. all swing that, right? But we also have our meal plans, so you yes. can prepay for those, and then, you know, make it easier on us. Definitely. I love the meal plans. Indeed. indeed. <laughs> they are very handy, I'm telling you, because you don't want to have to come out the pocket every single time. But mm -hmm. you can prepay before you even start your semester, and you'll walk around mm -hmm. with a card that'll have you good to go. As a matter of fact, let me show it to you. It is the Buck card. I think he's going to pull out his student yeah. ID card. Our Buccaneer card. And with that, if I had it on me right now, which I don't, I will show you Mr. Ivins. But this right here is your student identification card, and it also acts as that debit card. So any anything, any purchases that you make here on this campus, this will earn you an instant 10% discount. This also will be your key to get into the dormitories and things like that. So keep that in mind, all right? Mm -hmm. 
With our with our meal plans, you don't get the ten percent discount anymore. Not with the meal yeah. plans, you don't. But anything else, like with the different software that you may need that we have in our bookstore, mm -hmm. any school supplies that we have available, and things like that. Yeah. There's plenty of ways for you guys to save money while you're here on our campus. You just have to take the initial initiative and find them, or just ask one of the wonderful smiling faces that you'll yes. see on our campus because we're more than happy to help you guys out. We've all been in the same position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. Indeed. Yeah. Is is there anything that you wish that you knew before you actually enrolled in college or came to FSW? Yes. I wish I would have known that the classes aren't really as scary and as hard as you would think that they would be. Our <laughs> teachers here are more than willing to help us out. Mm -hmm. They make sure that we understand the course material at the end of the day. Of course, you have to show that you are taking it serious, that you are applying yourselves. But I mean, if you have a little common sense, trust me, if I'm an honor student right now, every single one of you guys can make straight A's here at this school. Mm -hmm. Are there any other perks um, about actually being in the honors program? Because I know a lot of times it's intimidating. People think, oh, honors program, they must be harder classes. Yes. Um, well, we have smaller class sizes, and that's definitely a plus. Mm -hmm. We get to have more in-depth conversations where you actually think. We challenge you to, you know, let your voice be heard, the usual um Use your mouth to let everybody know about your opinion, because after uh -huh. all, we're all entering adulthood, and we want you to know that your opinion is just as important as some of the people that you see on TV every day. Or it may be, you know, <laughs> even more important than some of those people, like the ones on the news and all of that right there. But we just want you guys to be comfortable expressing yourself at the end of the day. Trust me, when I first came here, I was super shy. But as you can see now, I'm kind of coming out of my shell a little bit, right? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And then also, um, aren't there study abroad opportunities within that, that yep. particular program? In that honors program, you guys do get the chance to go all over the country. Mm -hmm. We have like a... They just got back from Finland, didn't they? Exactly. Oh, yeah. These people were out on an actual iceberg painting <laughs> masterpieces. They were making all kind of awesome sculptures and we have the pictures to prove it. They were in full body suits. I mean, parkas yeah. and everything. It had to have been a wonderful experience. If yeah. I could have been able to participate in that, I definitely would have. Great. But outside of that, we also have our uh, United Nations uh, classes that actually go up to New York and they participate in the United oh, Nations meetings. That's really awesome. Indeed. Indeed it is. Uh, last semester, I was in the uh, theater history honors class and we were able to go out and actually see musicals put on at big playhouses and things like this. We were able to go behind the scenes and meet the people that made these things possible. Talk to the actors, talk to the stage hands and see mm -hmm. how everything works. It was definitely an in-depth experience that I wouldn't have necessarily had the chance to take had I not been yeah. uh, honored to it. Mm -hmm. So it lets you dive a tiny bit deeper yes, into does. the actual subjects in the, in the program? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's definitely great. And at the same time, it looks so good on your resume in the future when your future employer finds out that you were an honor student, that you did apply Great yourself while builder. you were here on our campus instead of just, you know, going with the flow. Because at the end of the day, you want the person that's going to go above and beyond, mm -hmm. not the person that's just willing to do just enough. Let's just be honest. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. I think the one thing I wish I knew before I actually, actually began college classes is what a college credit actually meant. Mm -hmm. um, I had no idea until I actually started working at a college what a college credit actually um, signified. Mm -hmm. One college credit equals one hour in the classroom per week for a typical semester. So a typical semester is around 16 weeks long. Yes. So that's like, let's say for fall semester, mm -hmm. that's the middle of August to like the middle of December. That's mm -hmm. about 16 weeks. Right. So you're, if you're taking like a three credit class, which most classes are around three to four credits, if you're taking like a three three credit history class, mm -hmm. that means you're spending th three hours in the classroom per week. Mm -hmm. So 
the schedules are going to be a tiny bit different mm -hmm. um, with scheduling you can actually choose your own schedule which is really awesome yes, um, yes, yes. if if you're not necessarily a morning person which mm -hmm. to each his own <laughs> I I never scheduled my own personal classes before mm -hmm. noon mm -hmm. um, which I found really amazing. Um, and you can put your schedule together however mm -hmm. you see fit. It's not like high school where you're going through six classes every single day. The way yeah. that I have my schedule set up right now, Mondays and Tuesdays, I'm only taking one class. Then on Wednesdays uh -huh. and Thursdays, I'm only taking two classes. And I'm still re meeting my full-time requirements. But at the same time, I'm not mm -hmm. taking on a bigger workload than I can handle. And that's definitely a good thing. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you're able to actually break them up between days. So mm -hmm. if you want to just, if you know your attention span can only actually focus on something for an hour, mm -hmm. um, you can actually break up your, your class times between like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right. and only be in that class for an hour. Yes. Um, however, mm -hmm. if you, if you want to like get it all done all in one go, mm -hmm. you can take the entire class three hours, like a six to nine class or something along those lines and take it at night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we also offer, Florida Southwestern also offers blended classes, which I think are really phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's partly online and then some in the classroom yeah, mm -hmm. and then some in the classroom. So it gives you an opportunity to only have to be available during that certain period of time for for like a few days during the entire semester. Mm -hmm. But you're given a an opportunity to actually socially network to to meet the people that you've been talking with that, that entire semester, because that a lot of times, you know, during online classes, which mm -hmm. are very, very convenient for your schedule for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. Um, however, sometimes people miss that actual like face to face component. Yep, that so that's why blended classes are really awesome. Exactly. Um, and then mm -hmm. online classes, mm -hmm. I personally love those because I'm working right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually, I'm taking classes and I'm able to work full time and also take classes on top of that. Right. And so that's why a lot of times people love online classes. Right, um, right. One of our student ambassadors, mm -hmm. Laura, mm -hmm. who I think you guys met the last webcast. Right, right. Um, What's up, Laura? Yeah, hi, Laura. <laughs> she actually, she's taking a full online course load this semester. Mm -hmm. And I think she did last semester as well. Yes. And mm -hmm. she, she loves it mm -hmm. because she can work, you know, burn the midnight night oil mm -hmm. and, um, you know, get all of her homework done all in one night if she really wanted to and just like work on it all day long. Exactly. Um, you can definitely tailor fit your educational experience mm -hmm. to your own personal needs. Me definitely, personally, definitely. I wouldn't be able to uh, be a high performer or as high of a performer as I am right now in the online class simply because of the fact that I'm easily distracted. So I need that classroom interaction. I need that uh, face the face with the teacher and things like that. That's just for me personally. And I know that some of you guys would be the same exact way as well. But that's just to let you know that you can make your college experience however you want to make it. You don't have to fit into some certain mode or some specific uh, routine because you've seen somebody else do that or what have you. You can make it work for you the way that you want it to. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to add in? Um, outside of that, the only thing I can really stress to you guys is that here at FSW, it'll definitely be in your best interest to come here simply because of the fact that the tuition is so much cheaper, so affordable compared to the other schools in the area, and you're still getting the top-notch education. Like take, for example, our School of Nursing. It's actually ranked number one here in Southwest mm -hmm. Florida and number 25 in the entire nation. That lets you know that that's a highly prestigious program. That lets you know that you will get the education and the training that you're looking for, but you won't incur as much debt as if you went to some other school. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Great. Like, that's my favorite part of the school anyway, because let's just face it, I haven't graduated yet and my pockets is hurting right now. So any anything that I can do to further my status in life, further my education without being too much of a strain on myself, I'm all about that. And I'm sure that plenty of you guys are as well. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, 
We are always available for you here. Um, you can come and get a campus tour from one of our amazing student ambassadors, and you can spend some more time with Rufus mm -hmm. or one of our other awesome student ambassadors. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. and, or you can actually come and sit down with a admissions counselor, and we'd be more than happy to actually discuss mm -hmm. any program um, mm -hmm. that you're thinking about, the yeah. enrollment steps, Mm -hmm. The scholarship application, pretty yes. much anything that, that you have questions, concerns about, we'd be yes. more than happy to sit down and assist you with. Yes. Um, other than that, mm -hmm. Florida Southwestern, we're located 15 minutes away from our beach, and we would love to have you on our campus. Indeed. <laughs> Go Bucks! Go Bucks! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh.